Hello and welcome to our Heroes of the Storm overview of Arthas, everyone's favorite Frostmourne wielding villain. A strong presence in lane, he's also an extremely durable bundle of joy in team fights. Let's take a look at his abilities as fully unlocked at level 4. Arthas' first ability, Q, is his iconic spell, Death Coil. This does damage to the enemy or heals Arthas if targeted on himself. His second ability, W, Howling Blast, does a root and some damage to enemies in an area where it's cast. His third ability is an activatable aura called Frozen Tempest. This does damage and slows any enemies that are trapped inside of it. Arthas' trait, D, is an activatable ability called Frostmourne Hungers. Every time you activate this ability, it empowers his next attack to do extra damage as well as restore some mana. Arthas' two heroic abilities, Summon Cindergrosa and Army of the Dead, will be covered in the talent section next. Next, we'll be going over Arthas' talent section as fully unlocked at level 4. At tier 1, we have Block, which periodically reduces incoming basic attack damage. Eternal Hunger, which causes Frostmourne Hungers to restore more mana. Frost Presence, which reduces the cooldown on Howling Blast. And Regeneration Master, which causes Arthas to regenerate an increasing amount of health depending on how many regeneration orbs he's picked up. At level 4, Arthas has Superiority, which causes him to take less damage from non-hero abilities, that's damage from things like minions and towers. We have Destruction, which increases the damage boost from Frostmourne Hungers, and Frozen Waste, which reduces the mana cost of Frozen Tempest. At level 7, we have Rune Tap, which causes consecutive basic attacks to heal you, Obliterate, which causes Frostmourne Hunger to deal area damage, Frost Strike, which causes Frostmourne Hunger to also slow the enemy target. And Death Touch, which causes your Death Coil to instantly kill any minion that it gets cast on and do area damage around that minion. At level 10, we have Arthas' heroic abilities. The first ability, Army of the Dead, causes Arthas to summon a small group of ghouls. Upon activating the ability a second time, it causes Arthas to sacrifice those ghouls, healing himself. His second heroic ability is Summon Syndragosa. This causes Arthas to summon the skeletal Syndragosa to do damage in a straight line area as well as freeze any structures that are caught in its path. At level 13 we have Spell Shield which reduces incoming ability damage, Relentless which halves the duration of all disables, Trail of Frost, which causes Howling Blasts to affect enemies in the travel path of Howling Blasts. In other words, when you cast Howling Blasts in a distance away from you, everything between you and it will also be affected by the spell. Biting Cold, which causes Frozen Tempest damage to be increased by 50%. At level 16, we have Frostmourne Feeds, which causes Frostmourne Hungers to apply to the next two basic attacks, rather than just the next one. Immortal Coil, which causes your Death Coil to always heal you even when cast on an enemy target. <laughs> Embrace Death, which causes Death Coil to do increasingly more damage depending on how much health you are missing. And Stone Skin, an activatable shield, which gives you 30% of your maximum health as a shield for 5 seconds. At level 20, as always, our first two talents are upgrades to our current heroic talents. Army of the Dead is upgraded by Legion of Northrends, which causes your ghouls to last longer and for there to be more ghouls summoned. And Absolute Zero, which causes Syndragosa to fly farther and to slow everything that she hits after the root wears off. The third ability is Hardened Shield, an activatable ability that gives you a shield that reduces damage taken by 75%. And finally, we have Rewind, an activatable ability that resets all of your cooldowns except for your heroic abilities. Thanks for tuning in for my overview of Arthas. Feel free to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future updates. I plan on covering all the heroes before the Heroes of the Storm official launch on the 2nd of June.